I live by the rule. If I see something and you're my friend, I'm going to say something. Is it only if it's your friend? No, I take strays into it. Was Ashley a stray? No. Carrie, you called me a stray on the television. <laughs> I, I got to thank Mr. Zell. She dubbed me the grand dame. However, since it bothers everybody else, I want to be like Oprah. You can be a grand dame and you can be a grand dame and all of us can be a grand dame. Carrie, why are you lying? That's how you go. Well, first of all, I don't necessarily think that what I said about how many drinks Monique had was the only thing that affected her reputation. She did other things that lent themselves to saying maybe Monique does drink a little too much. That's a bunch of bull. Michael doesn't miss a camera. Why would, it's not about Michael missing a camera. It's about the fact that he was a major topic of discussion. That he is was. very true, too, yeah, so but he do does love a camera. camera. Absolutely. The man loves a camera. Fox 5 is indication of that. We're good. Next. He did. You've had a tweak of some sort. We want to know what I did? Yeah. I had yeah. injections put into my nose because it was bothering my breathing. My nose just tilts down with time, and they just fill the tip of my nose up. With a little filler. I said, that's why I don't do strays. Well, I didn't call you. You were talking well, about me. About? How can I misread you that? Own, you're owning it. Let, let me finish and then Nobody I'll give you an opportunity. That title. Thank you. No, I am saying we'll you, can, you can be a grand dame. You can't be the grand dame of Potomac. Make your own grand dame. All of us they are can't grand. be the grand dame of Potomac. Why? Because you are? Because I have to hand it off. Because I have a few drinks and want to actually enjoy my girl's trip does not make me an alcoholic. That was my one moment to be with women who I thought were for me and to just let my hair down for one but time. As far as talking about what happened, like I'm sick of talking about the situation. Okay, mm -hmm. well, yeah. get sick of it tomorrow. I got yes. it. Yeah. I got she's sick yeah. of it okay. now. now she she had so much to say yeah. from the chair, though, well, Giselle, I mean, and now you're sick I of agree. it. Yes. I, yes. I, yes. No. That's it. That's it since season one, or that's it since Oh, you, you're talking month. current, right? Oh, no. So we're talking current, right? Yes, that's what I had done. Okay. Thank you. Okay. <laughs> Over the years, you know, uh, my name's Karen, and that's, that's, that's enough to chew on. Were you like this as a kid? What is like this, Andy? She had a vivid imaginary world as a child, and it oh, continues. Right. And as Katie don't. cannot speak for that because she didn't know me then. <laughs> you know nothing about my childhood. Stay in your lane. And I'm going to keep it, ladies. I want you to know I'm keeping it because it irritates the hell out of you. Not and I enjoy it. It doesn't irritate my life. Yes, Andy. You know, in every episode, you have a corona in your hand. Sure. Don't you think it's a little bit hypocritical for you to call out Monique? No, I like to have Corona lights. If I were to get into a car accident after consuming too many Corona lights, I would expect the same dialogue to be taken. So you really didn't think that you were a mean old mean lady? No, no. I just felt like <laughs> everybody was missing a sensitivity chip. How many of you think the therapy has changed Giselle? For like five minutes? I like these revisions. Thank you. Who's changed the least? Giselle. <laughs> the shade train keeps on moving. That's it's consistent, fair. at least. Candace. And what was your response when you saw Katie's reaction? She called it a podunk cocktail party. You know, I was like, I know this hoe ain't talking about me. <laughs> <laughs> I was, was like, just I just wish she described just, it. You know, living in Potomac, people have planes, they have multiple homes. So to call Karen a grand dame, it was like not a dom thing because. <laughs> You're being crazy defensive, like up against it the wall, like, me like because really I, know defensive. I would not do that to any of these ladies. Okay. Like, even if I don't like you, even if I don't speak to you, I would never do that. What? Karen, is the shade train still running on time? Oh, it is. It is. It's reckless. I don't think there's any hope for you unless you make a oh, conscious wow. decision to change that which is bad about you. I think the way that I am have ser has served me quite well. You're close to revealing your vagine today. Yes. <laughs> yes. And if there is the flash, everything is well taken care of. So, yeah. Okay. Speaking of no, She described just, it was like it was going to be this, no, like, grand no, affair. And I was like, like come on, done. man. Katie, like, I could, I could have thrown that together in four let, days. Let so, it was just, But, Katie, you didn't throw anything Katie together. Didn't, yes, I can. But seeing that couple ask if your kitchen was going to be updated. Mm, I didn't even think about that one, Andy. Is that the reason you moved? The perception of your kitchen? Oh, no, sweetheart. Just sit still. We're just getting started. I'm just saying, because no. you have, you move quite abruptly. Like, hold take on, the nerve hold on. Me. You wouldn't do what to these ladies? I wouldn't destroy your character. Oh, okay. There's someone that is heavily pursuing me, and I am um, enjoying the pursuit, and I am open to it. Do you Woo! all know him? 
Well, you don't hold on to one longer than a season, so I don't even want to know him. Uh, good, great. He won't be around good. you. Good. We are Karen say that she hopes your fashions don't rub off on Monique. Sandy from Atlanta said, does Giselle get dressed in the dark? Giselle, let's get into this. Were you surprised that this has become such a topic? No. Katie clearly knew that it was a cocktail party to launch a very important cause. It was to a To raise nice money for Alzheimer's victims and their caregivers. You owe those people an apology, no, not I, me. I, you don't owe me anything. I, I, I was, but you've known me the longest. I call you all the time. Karen, you call me to say, I don't got time for you bitches when we're not filming. <laughs> I don't got time for you Giselle, bitches. Never, That's what you call see, me You know what? Giselle is embellishing. I'm not embellishing. Honestly, I believe, Monique, I do believe Ashley is a pot stirrer. Andy, is Karen the right person to ask this question? Well, yeah, I'm, I'm not wondering. sure if she's the right person yeah. to pose this. Ashley, you can be quiet. Karen uh, turns into Kern when she's had that shit. I, I thought, thought you were saying... I actually heard about it from someone in the front pew in his church exactly. in Atlanta. No, no. you know, I'm connected, Andy. You know, okay. hello. It's hello. Okay. But if anybody stands a chance of making it with you, that's him. Um, that stands a chance. Thank you. You're yeah. welcome. <laughs> Would you describe...